Hello and welcome to another Demon 212 PSN review. Today I'm going to be taking a look at Shatter, which if you've never played it before, it's basically a bat and ball game, only it's interesting. Please don't switch off thinking bat and ball game, clone of Arkanoid terrible. It's actually brilliant. Um, at the start, very basic stuff, health, help and options, not health and options. Help and options are basic leaderboards, you can view them if you want to. Then you've got the story mode. There's 10 worlds overall and varying levels and bosses as well. But basically, it's just one of those things, as I say, it's a bat and ball game, but it has got some things about it that make it unique. Unfortunately though, one of the things is very long, stupid loading times, so I'm just going to cut into the game. So here we go then. Um, as I say, a bat and ball game, so the whole point is you have to smash all the blocks and basically go on to the next level. When a boss comes around, you have to kick the crap out of the boss. I'll do my best to show a boss off, I should be able to show one at least anyway. The uh, uniqueness to it though, and it's the reason that many people might be looking at this now, well, he, what a terrible game design, what a flaw, he's totally screwed. Wrong. I can change the way things work. I can hold R2 down and push the ball away, which means I can change where it's going, or I can suck it into us, and also suck in power-ups and extra lives, and those little blue shards. The blue shards, when you get enough of them, you can do what is basically a shard machine gun and fire out these hundreds of thousands of shards into the blocks, thus destroying them in pretty much one go. Well, to be fair, any block that gets hit pretty much gets uh, knocked in one go. It's very rare that you find blocks that take more than one hit. But you know what I mean, it's the type of thing that it can totally change how a level plays because all of a sudden you could be left with about 50 blocks and then next thing you know you've got five. One of the other cool things about it is you can fire more balls out at any time as long as you've got the lives because obviously a ball equals a life. So that's pretty much everything it does differently or at least does that I've never seen before. Obviously I've never played every single game like this so I don't know how original it is but to me very original, very unique and very fun because of it. It's also got possibly the best soundtrack on the PSN. It's very, very rare I hear a soundtrack this good, and ever since I've heard this, I've basically had to shut up and just listen to it myself for ages, because there's, there's like 90 minutes of it as well. So you definitely get enough soundtrack, and I think I should really just shut up and let you listen yourself, because I truly do think it's fantastic. So anyway, that was just a bit of some fantastic music, I mean, hell, it's, I think it's worth buying the game alone just for the soundtrack, get someone else to play it if you don't like them and just sit back, chill and listen really. If they ever release the soundtrack, either as a paid download or anything, I would be in there like a shot getting it, I truly do love that soundtrack. Anyway, enough about the soundtrack, on to the game again. As I did say, you've got that machine gun thing, and that's basically the power bar in the top left by getting them shards. Also though, you can use it as a shield, now you might be wondering why the hell would you need a shield, Trust me, there'll be times when you need a shield. Either when blocks are actually, like, there's loose blocks as well as these static ones. When loose blocks come flying at you and knock you out of the way, they don't kill you, but they knock you, like, your bat out of the way, which means if the ball's coming down at the same time, then chances are you're going to lose a ball. But that's the shield. Might as well not waste it on just five or six blocks. Might as well just wait until the next level and show off the awesome machine gun. Well, here it is. And probably the worst level to show it off simply because of them damn purple blocks. But anyway, that is the machine gun. It's, well, the kinetic shard gun or the shard gun or whatever the hell it's called. Either way, it's brilliant and it really does make the game fun. Especially the first time that you, like, get it and you think, well, it looks good, sounds good, but oh my god, I didn't realise it was this good. Anyway, there's not really much left to see here. There's uh, a few things, but I did see I'd show off the boss, so I'll cut into a boss and finish off there, really. 
Well, here's the boss, and this is what happens to a boss when you fire a machine gun at him. Uh, boss basically though has his energy meter in the top right, that goes down when you hit the weak part of the boss. There's also other parts of the boss usually where you can like get shards out of though to obviously get yourself some shield or get yourself some air, uh, like well another machine gun because in using a machine gun bar pretty much just got another full machine gun bar there. So gotta love that. But very little left to see here. Obviously there's power ups, I should at least mention a couple of them. You've got things like the indestructible block type thing that I can't remember what it's called, something like the unstoppable and it basically means that block, it'll break through tons and tons, it won't just hit one and bounce back, it'll keep breaking through until it hits a wall. You can uh, get double shards, so just standard stuff that you'd expect really. But anyway, that's a boss, this is the bonus level, pretty much the only other thing I had left to mention. And the whole point is you've got three balls here and every time you hit them you get 100,000 points and your multiplier and that goes up on the top right corner because you can get multiplier for the main game too. And you just keep doing this basically until, well, until all three of them die, really. I suppose die. It's, it's very hard to see when you're talking about inanimate objects and that that aren't even at least characters. They're just, well, they're not even balls either despite being a bat and ball game. So there we go then. That's been the review. I hope you've enjoyed it or at least found it helpful. You might have noticed I didn't score the game. Well, that's because it's a matter of personal opinion and yours may very well differ from my own. I'm just here to show you a bit about the game. If you like it or not, well, that's up to you. If you don't like it, or you do like it, feel free to comment. Also, if I haven't answered any of your questions that you may have had, I might have forgot something, or it might just be something obscure. Again, feel free to comment, ask, always willing to help out. Otherwise, if you don't like commenting on YouTube, head over to www.vc-forums.com where you can chat with me and a bunch of other lads who love the VC, the WiiWare and hell, even a lot of other systems. We cater to pretty much everything. You can just go there, have a chat about a game, ask about some games, etc. So until next time, this has been Demon212, signing off.